I'll never be afraid again. I will keep on fighting till the end. I can walk on water, I can fly. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with a Tesla stock update video. Sorry for the clear, there's not much else I can do with that. Uh, everyone click like for Dragon Ball Z because you love it. Now, Janet Yellen said today, uh, the climate change poses an existential threat and requires investment in clean energy, renewable energy, and electric vehicles. She also goes on to say that Biden supports restoring electric vehicle incentives, meaning that $7,500 tax credit that is going to absolutely boost sales for Tesla. Uh, 27 January is Tesla's Q4 earnings call. They're going to go over a lot over there, um, <coughs> including a couple of catalysts that will list right now. Now, we do have a lot of money managers and active funds buying right now in preparation for that. Uh, we do have Wall Street uh, estimating the fiscal year of 2021. Um, there are estimates and price targets that they're upping, both of those right now, currently. And Biden will announce an EV credits at inauguration. That's going to be done tomorrow, January 20th. Also, we do have uh, the Q4 earnings per share. Wall Street has that about a dollar earnings per share versus it'll probably be about a dollar seven per sh share. That's from Gary Black over on Twitter. Uh, that will be again on 27 January. Now the fiscal year of 2021 delivery estimates Wall Street right now, they was at 777,000 vehicles delivered. They've recently upped it to 815,000. Um, Elon will probably say it'll be around 850,000. I think that's minimum. I think he's sandbagging it. I think they do minimum 950,000. I've said before a million <coughs> vehicles delivered. Why I'm saying about 950 now is because uh, Stephen Mark Ryan from Solving the Money Problem, who's like the biggest Tesla bull in the world. Hi, Kitty. Hello. Uh, said that he was doing about 1.1 million, but now he has them doing about 950,000. Um, so... Honestly, though, I'm still going to say a million because I don't think anyone is taking into consideration that $7,500 incentive, which is a lot of money, especially when you're talking about well into the five figures like this. Um, so I, I'd say, I know, I know, I love you too. I would say that I'd, I'm still at a million right now for vehicles delivered. Uh, we do have a Cybertruck update as well on the 27th. He's going to go over that on his phone call. Uh, he's going to have updates not only on Giga Berlin, uh, which will come out in Q3 of this year. That'll be done. Uh, and then also Giga Austin as well, which will be done around Q4. Um, and again, Bloomberg has the Wall Street estimates 815,000. Um, my estimate is still going to be a million. And we have a full self-driving monthly recurring revenue that's going to launch February 1st. That's going to be saying, okay, uh, they're now going to actually start getting gains on that full self-driving. Uh, and then we're going to have Moody's upgrade on February 1st as well. Uh, this is all not including the Berlin, uh, Austin, and uh, they also had 100,000 orders for a Made in China Model Y. So everyone in China is like, I need this Model Y. That's made in China. I don't have to pay large shipping tax or whatever. Um, that's going to be absolutely huge. Then we do have uh, Biden's day one promises. He has a couple of these. Uh, he really has five things that he wants to do on day one of his presidency, um, two of which very much help Tesla. Uh, out of the top five, top five is environment. This is big for Tesla as well. Uh, sign executive order to conserve 30% of America's lands and waters by 2030. Um, he also has stuff on here such as rejoining the World Health Organization um, and wants to be very pro-transgender rights. He also wants uh, immigration reform as well. Those three things as far as rejoining WHO, immigration reform, transgender rights, I don't think really affect Tesla that much but they're important enough that he wants to do on his first day. But the other one, the last one, is climate change. He wants to sign an executive order to have 100% clean energy by 2050. It's not as aggressive as the UK, which wants it by like 2035, um, or a couple of other very, very liberal countries, but this is something that will help Tesla 100%. That's why I'm not selling, so I'm still all in. Uh, Chamath Palihapitiya says that uh, sub-15 minute fast charging is what will be needed for mass market EV adoption. And he's one of my heroes. He's a lot of people that I get news from. Uh, he said new cathode is how to get that, but I think he's wrong. I think it's autonomy, but the percentage difference of cost per mile for electric vehicles versus internal combustion engines 
is going to be the big difference. That difference becomes too great when driver's wages are removed. You don't have to pay for the driver part of Lyft or Uber. You don't have to pay for that insurance. That's all cooked into the price. You're not going to have that with a Tesla uh, ride sharing app. Uh, we're going to have replaced billions of cars. That'll take something like autonomy, in my opinion. Uh, in the same breath, I will say that many people who have never driven a Tesla before, which again, they are not just cars, they're, on, they're a factor of their own. The people that have never driven Teslas will probably just switch to robo-taxis. Uh, that meaning they're not going to bother buying a Tesla for forty, eighty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000, or even if they come back with a compact car of $25,000 full self-driving. Um, they're just not going to do that. They'll just be like, you know what? Um, it's just a couple dollars now to get where I need to go. I'll just call a ride sharing app every single time. Just my opinion. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Moving, on, moving on. Okay, so yesterday's close as far as the stock goes. Yesterday's close was at 826. Uh, when, <coughs> not yesterday's. Friday's close was 826. It opened this morning at 837, which is nice. And it closed today at 844, 50 cents. But this is on very little volume. The average volume is 44 uh, million four hundred thousand shares traded each day today's volume was twenty three million seven hundred thousand shares traded that is not a lot I think again you're seeing a lot of calm before the storm that is a q4 earnings call that's something that I hundred percent will be a huge catalyst just again Biden stuff tomorrow will be a catalyst as well for the next day um, Chamath Palihapitiya also has a watch list he says he is watching these things very closely he didn't mention anything in his post on Twitter about electric vehicles, but these are something that he thinks the world needs, such as materials and mining, batteries, manufacturing, grid level storage, local energy storage, project finance, and recycling. Recycling, I'm not sure if Tesla, I mean, they recycle their batteries outside of that. I'm not sure what they do, but every single other thing has materials and mining. They're mining for a whole mess of lithium and nickel to try to replace cobalt, to get the cobalt down to as little as possible because of how it's gotten. Batteries, there is no better battery than Tesla. Manufacturing, they have, Elon Musk has tweeted constantly, he has the machine that makes the machine. Manufacturing is most important. Most other people do not understand that. Grid level storage, that is pretty self-explanatory. Local energy storage, remember, we're gonna have auto bidder. And the project finance, he has $20 billion in the war chest to play with. Um, all of that for changing the world. Yeah, that's that's Tesla to a T. I said, I'm not selling. Um, there will be a part in late late February where I can start investing again. Um, most likely, some of that, most of that is going to go into that new project, Earth 2, that I've been working on. Some of you guys have um, seen my videos on that already. Uh, outside of that, I will be investing in Bitcoin, and I will invest in more Tesla. Uh, Lemonade, if anyone has remembered, I've was preaching lemonade at $69 a share because nice uh it's $143 a share today so all I'm saying uh is just I usually have even though this is not financial advice and I'm not really a financial advisor I do have an excellent track record as far as uh looking at companies going over their P&Ls profit and loss and balance sheets and just absolutely going ham down the rabbit hole on their on their CEO and yeah I'm just uh letting you know this is what I'm doing and I wants to follow Everyone was crazy when I started buying Tesla in bulk. Everyone said it was crazy when I started buying, spending, you know, five, six figures on Pokemon cards. But, grand now. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Meow.